absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna install it today right here on the race car. What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Sorry if I look a little tired. I'm actually leaving to the Mint 400 tomorrow and this just came in the mail. Our ZRP, proudly made in the USA, alternator for your Razor Turbo or your Razor Pro XP. So we got this in the mail. As you can see, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna install it today right here on the race car. Me and our team had problems realizing that driving through the night, our lights would shut off and it wouldn't let us access to turn on the lights. Then we found about this beautiful piece of art and we're gonna be installing it on the car day to keep up the voltage. We'll show you when you press on the buttons, the voltage will immediately drop and then we'll show you after with the ZRP alternator. Let's get started. Here, I'll turn it on for you guys right here. When I click on this, I turn on the Polaris key. When we said that it was lowering on voltage, as soon as we start showing on our lights in the desert, so you'll see the Polaris ride command pop up. And then right around here, you'll start seeing the voltage. Here, there's your warning. Perfect. So it'll pop up right here. It'll say the voltage right here. It says 12.2, right? So this is where we're gonna start clicking on the lights. This is the ride command active suspension that the Pro XP comes with. So as you can see, it's already at 11.6, which isn't good at all. So I'm gonna start turning on all the lights for you guys. And immediately you'll start to see the voltage dropping, 11.3, and this isn't even all the lights. So I'll get to driver pumper. And fan override, and it's already at 11.3. See, and it'll immediately start coming back up. See, not even enough voltage to start the car, right? 's right here it actually only requires just a few tools you got your built housing from ZRP probably made in the USA obviously got your alternator right here these are only the few tools you might need and ba bam that's it now let's get ready to put it on the first thing you want to do to get this on here first thing just to get right into it you're gonna want to remove your shock right here pull it right off to the side you're also gonna want to remove your stratter plug too and you're gonna want to remove your crank sensor before you take these off. All these bolts right here are gonna be eight millimeter and you're gonna go ahead and pull those off. Perfect, once you pull that off, that should be coming right off. Now once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to carefully try and pull this right off. Just like that. All right, perfect. Once you've once you've taken off that right there, should be ready to go to pull this right off. Next thing you're gonna do, you wanna get a long extension with an eight millimeter on here. You're gonna wanna go grab your impact, but you're gonna wanna turn it to one of the first modes it has because you do not wanna try and break these bolts on here. And 
very easily on that first mode, those should be able to come right off, just like that. Now do just repeat the same thing with all these right here. Let's go ahead and get started. Either way, there's going to be two steps. This one's a little bit tricky because this right here, this little cover for your shredder, this pulling off, it's almost like a little magnet going across this whole thing. So trying to pull it off, it's a little bit hard. So my best suggestion for you guys is to tilt the car over when you tilt this off. Kind of tilt it over or drain your oil before you do it. Either way, both works. Start pulling it off. Once you go ahead and pull this out right here that little circle thing right there that's going to be your stratter let's go ahead and take it over here where our alternator is just looking at it from right here you can already see some resemblance between the two from the bolt pattern shape and all they really did to add to it is for the uh the bracket to the alternator right here so as you can see you have this bolt right here you're going to unbolt your bolt from the, the flywheel right here and replace it with this this right here as you can see going to bolt on spin and feed the, the alternator and it's just a crazy crazy thing to even think about as you can see you have your strata right here if you see the resemblance there's three bolts right here that bolt right into place right there and then your tiny little bracket inside of this cover right here that holds your wires in. As you can see, it's right there, right inside there. So I have my little tool set right here, and you can pick whatever here. I believe it's four and three, but we'll check it out for you guys. For this right here, you're gonna need a four and five millimeter hex from your little basket right there. And then you're gonna put these right here where that little bracket is, and right here to remove your shredder. Once you've pulled out these three millimeters, your small little bracket right here should be able to pull right out, and your shredder, this should be able to pull right out too. As you can see, it's kind of weird looking, but it's pretty cool. Boom, right there. Before you install it right here, you're just gonna set that into place. Make sure you guys have blue Loctite for these bolts right here that go straight into there. After we're done with that, after switching everything, we're gonna have and flip it over, remove some of the casings so we can get access to the, some of that eight millimeter bolts. As you can see, these three bolts right here, as well as right here. As you can see right down there, there's access to those eight millimeter bolts and pull this right off. I'm pretty sure you can see of all the access you need to access your eight millimeter bolts on the side right there to mount it right onto the cover should be fun all right now let's go remove that bolt from the flywheel now instead of this we're going to get a 22 millimeter and drill that right out Pop right out there. perfect now we're going to go install the zrp one then for the zrp you don't actually need to reuse your washers you just bolt it straight right in as you can see we set our gun to number one speed's not very high so we're going to do you're going so at first you're going to torque it to 100 pounds of torque, you're going to loosen it and then re-torque it to 133 pounds of torque. Let's go for it. Alright, perfect. Once you're done with that, you should get your alternator kit. It should pop right on there, but first you got to replace your gasket and you should be good. Alright, perfect. We got it in. As you can see, it's pretty hard to get on there. Now we're ready to start putting on our bolts and start mounting on the alternator. Fun. As you can see, we already installed everything. So we have our eight millimeter bolts that we put in. Make sure you guys put your strata sensors back on, your crank sensors back on. You should be good to go. And now it's actually time to put the alternator on it. Let's go do that. 
As you can see, we actually are using the ARP studs that we use on all the cars right here. Check this out, ARP down here that we use on all the suspension parts. And the uh, ZRP products come with the ARP as well. These two right here, 35 foot pounds of torque. This is what you're going to want to sit it to when you get your kit. Perfect. You're all torqued up. Right after we've done that, we already did our, our tensioner right here for that belt. We finished up, we torqued these to 35 pounds and this one to 10. We're finishing up and now it's just time to put the cover back on. There we go. Perfect, we're basically all set. Now it's just time for the wiring and it's done. We also love how ZRP did this, this little manual book right here. Beautiful, I mean, I'm only 13 and it was really easy to do this just by the instructions, just by reading it. They included everything you need to do and what product you need to use as well, which I think is awesome. So now the uh, the green wire is stuck up to your straight to your battery so the alternator works. And the yellow one is just in case of the alternator fails, it'll let you know. Uh, you don't have to run that if you don't want to, but um, yeah, that's definitely a need for the green one. And that was the easiest install I've ever had to do. Now after you're done with your wiring, you just put on your shock and your tire and you're good to go. I'll start it up for you guys, you can see immediately. Watch, check this out. Follow up the Polaris logo. Right here, you'll start seeing the voltage. Because it doesn't have fender flare, it doesn't have fender wells or anything like that, so it just shoots it straight up. Ooh. Oh, here we go. So this UTV is uh, young Ruslan uh, Yankilovich is what his last name is, but everybody knows him as Ruslan Grease Hands. He's the kid that uh, sent it over the uh, <laughs> that sent it over the uh, canal in Glamis. Oh, is that the little kid? Yeah, that's oh, the little that's kid. Him? So uh, I just love seeing all the kids, man. They're having so much fun doing this stuff. Oh yeah. And they're not sore the next day. They're like, what? I just got to drive around. Bob, sit in the front. Sit in the front seat. Nope, I'm not sitting in the front seat. <laughs> so we're going to see a lot of finishers start coming to the finish line now as uh, as these drivers get done. Uh, to me, that sounds like a. Uh, yeah, uh, well, that's actually my aunt right there and my grandpa right there and my dad.